Salutation, Serene Eminence here. Thank you kindly for tuning in to my Frank Darling Engagement Ring Home Try On Haul. Frank Darling is a website for which you may customize your very own uniquely designed engagement rings conveniently in the comfort of your own home, either independently or with the loving support of your newly found spouse. I am finishing up this deliciously lovely Prosecco peach wine and I shall be indulging a little further in my sprinkles cupcakes after the video and as you see the I do symbology because I did say I do. So you are allotted a total of three rings per single order. I was able to secure a total of six rings per two orders. I did utilize my professional email for one order and my personal email for another order. The price to engage in the engagement ring home try on is fairly negligible. It's extremely reasonable and the turnaround rate for which I received my rings was approximately seven days. I did order them on August the 8th, so 8-8 in seamless alignment, and I did receive them on August the 11th. Frank Darling is extremely thorough in terms of correspondence via email. I was kept abreast of the process and the progress for which my rings were delivered to me. I do love that because I do love being thoroughly prepared to receive in a timely fashion. And so as far as customization, you are able to choose your particular ring band color, your particular diamond cut style, as well as your stone setting how the stone sets upon the actual band. The ring tones that you may choose from via Frank Darling are yellow gold, white gold, platinum, and rose gold. I did select white gold for all six bands for this particular try on. There's also various diamond cut styles. I will specify that you will not be receiving actual diamonds situated upon your bands via the mail. You shall instead receive cubic zirconia replicas of the actual diamond that you would receive upon actual purchase of the specifically stylized ring of your choosing. And so the actual cuts include Asher, which is an octagonal squared shape with cropped corners. It's akin to an endless hallway with reflective mirrors. So you can only imagine the brilliance is impeccable on that cut. There's also the cushion cut, which is a square cut with rounded curvature. It's modernized with an antique twist. The aesthetic is beautiful and it plays off of light brilliantly. There's also the emerald cut, which has long facets and layered corners that resemble long stairs. Individuals that typically choose this cut are strong, bold, and exuberant by nature. This cut also highlights clarity at an extremely high degree. It's seedingly higher than all other cuts in comparison. There's also the marquee cut, which is chic and has an elliptical shaped silhouette. It's highly symmetrical and proportional. It is by far my favorite cut. It is named after Marquis de Pompadour, which is or was the lover of King Louis the 15th. He ordered that the actual diamond be cut in a resemblant fashion of her actual lips. So thanks to his orders, we have the wearing pleasure of the Marquis diamond cut. 
There's also the pear diamond cut, which is akin to a teardrop. It's a blend between the round cut and the marquee cut. It is representative of tears of joy. Individuals that like this cut are typically strong-willed and highly empowered. There's also the oval cut, which is ovular in shape. It optimizes carat weight and appears larger than it actually is. So if you want an economical selection, you can choose the actual oval cut. If you wanted the round cut, you would get the dimensions and the weight of the carrot, but you would have no choice but to pay based on that particular cut, which is a higher rate than the oval cut. So if you want something more economical, but still have the appearance of the dimensions of the weight of the actual diamond, then the oval cut is for you. The round cut is the last cut. It's the most classic of all engagement ring cuts. It is the most traditional and it is very uniform and symmetrical in nature and it is representative of eternal love. As far as the stone settings, there's the halo setting. This setting features the center stone surrounded by additional gemstones, which is also referred to as pavé. Pavé means paved in French, where in which the actual shank or also known as the band is completely encapsulated in gemstones. But I did notice after reviewing these rings that it's not always completely encapsulated. It varies as far as the rate of encapsulation of how far the pavé goes. I would prefer the pavé to go all the way around. That's just my desire. Um, but I do think it may be a, a cost saving measure. And plus underneath the actual ring, no one really sees it, but I like complete symmetry and harmony. So that's what I would prefer. There's also the signature style. This is just Frank Darling's signature style. There is a style I didn't see on the list, which is the tension floating style, which makes it appear that the actual stone is suspended in midair. There's also the solitaire setting, which is the classic setting, where in which the stone is upheld by four to six prongs, just like this ring. This is not a Frank Darling ring. This is just a ring that I wear for everyday occasions when I have a silver aesthetic in accordance with my ensemble. So the placement of the prongs, how it elevates the ring, helps it to maximize light return and increase the level of reflectivity. And lastly, there's the three stone setting where in which there's a single stone in the middle that's raised and there's two stones nestled betwixt the larger raised stone. So you may also choose no preference if you'd like. It's just to open up all of your options. You can choose no preference for the band color, the diamond cut, and the stone setting just to see what all Frank Darling has to offer. I am a highly particular lady, so I know exactly what I like, um, but I will say only 10 to 15% of the actual rings on the site, especially under my preferences, are available for the home try on. So just keep notice that all rings are not available for the home try on option. So the first ring is the Royal Pave Asher. It is $1,140, two carat cubic zirconia. You can see the pavé, you can see where it stops, you can see how it glistens in the lovely light. Next, we have the Royal Pavé Round, which is $1,140, one carat cubic zirconia. This pavé is quite a bit deeper than the other one, which I prefer. It's classic, it's simple, it's sleek, it is lovely. Lastly, we have the Royal Three Stone Pave Round. This particular ring is $1,640, one carat cubic zirconia. This is my favorite ring out of the three from this select order. I like how deep the pave goes. I would prefer that it goes all around, but I do like the prominence 
of the centermost stone and the accompanying stones add quite a bit of balance. It glistens quite well and I love the reflective dimensions of almost rainbow, a rainbow spectrum of colors. For my second and last order, this was supposed to be the Twist Marquee. I'm looking at Adonis in the background, my Yorkie. I shall link his Instagram below. But yes, this is supposed to be the Twist Marquee. I will replace it, I'll put it back because it doesn't have the actual marquee cut stone upon the band that they sent me. I did reach out to Frank Darling to inform them that I did not receive the marquee stone, um, which is a bit disheartening because the marquee is by far my favorite stone. So in any event, I shall post a picture in either corner for your reference and review. That ring is $1,140, 1.5 karat cubic zirconia. The next ring is the Royal Pave Pear. It's akin to the elliptical shape, but with a rounded bottom or rounded front, depending on how you wear it. It glistens well. It gives for a sleek look, but I do prefer the pointed elliptical shape on either end. See the pave is quite deep and it glistens well in the light. That one is $1,140, one carat cubic zirconia. The last one we have is the Breezy Bezel Pears, $1,480, 1.5 carat cubic zirconia, no pave. This stone has a setting of the bezel because the stone is encapsulated in the white gold tone. It's not upheld by any prongs. It's almost suspended. And so that one is fairly lovely. It's not one of my favorites. Each box did come with a ring sizer so you can know the precise dimensions of your ring size. And it also came with a Frank Darling ring catalog. You may keep both of these items, but you must return all of the rings. I did engage in a more thorough quiz so that they may send me a sketch of a highly specialized ring based on my uniquely designed specifications. So I'm looking forward to seeing that sketch. So I thank you kindly for tuning in, beautifully beloved beings. If you'd like to connect with me on either of my platforms, I will link them below. But until next time, stay serene.